Hello, I'm Andrew Chiapese for TimesOnline.com. Welcome to Game On Post Game here at Shaler, where Beaver Falls just fell to Valley 7 to 5 in the first round of the Class 3A playoffs. Sometimes all it takes is just one inning for a game to unravel, and unfortunately for Beaver Falls, that was the case, as Valley struck in the fourth inning for six runs, and that was all it would need to beat Beaver Falls. Well, you know, for the last couple years, we've had to play with underclassmen, but, you know, it's they've gotten to the point now where they're juniors and seniors. And, uh, you know, being a little bit older, you're supposed to be a little bit more mature and not give up when things are down. And uh, today's game was an example of them doing that, although we jumped out to a 2 to nothing lead. Uh, we faced a little bit of adversity for about 20 minutes in the game. Uh, if you could take, stop the clock for 20 minutes, take those 20 minutes out, take those five runs away in that one inning, I mean, we pretty much did what we wanted to do the, the entire game. But to be able to have that maturity to come back, uh, get within a run, then tie it, and uh, put yourself in a position to win, I think was uh, you know, a good, good storyline for the upperclassmen. We look forward to them continuing to do that next year and on in college for some of the seniors. Despite the disappointment in the loss, Beaver Falls was the underdog today as a 12 seed, and the Tigers have some pieces coming back next year, including junior pitcher Cameron Kern, who was able to battle through to pitch a strong six innings. For more coverage, stay tuned to timesonline.com.